second day of the IFCABA conference has commenced. And next to me is Pamela Pam Redding, um, the commander of Australian Border Force. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us, Pam, you've just delivered a um, speech um, during the morning session. What exactly did you cover in there? I covered, well, I gave a, a broad um, a summary of uh, our trade compliance uh, results for the last year, but also spoke about our supply chain integrity teams who are going to be specifically looking at threats in the supply chain, yeah. including trusted insiders. Okay, and what are some of those threats? Um, well, recent um, Operation Ironside, which was a big law enforcement operation, identified hundreds of people who work in the supply chain who are potentially um, engaging in criminal behaviour okay. uh, to assist organised crime groups uh, involving the cross-border movement of people and goods. Oh, OK. And is that more so over the last two years? Um, well, the, this operation was run over the last two years, yeah. and so that's what... Um, you know, uh, that's what we're looking at now. So yeah. it, it's given us a lot of things to think about and uh, and uh, move forward with um, in addressing vulnerabilities in the supply chain. Uh, but we really need to partner with industry to yeah. combat this threat. It's That's everything. So with, by partnering with the industry, how do you plan to tackle those issues? What are some of the strategies going forward? Well, really um, building better relationships with industry and sharing information about um, through our border watch activity and also you know um, sharing information about the threats we see and also the suspicions they have about you know issues they're seeing at the yeah. border as well. And is the industry open to collaborating and to working out on those issues with you? I'm pretty sure they are because uh, combating uh, you know, vulnerabilities in the supply chain is good for everyone, not just government. Um, it's bad for business yeah. to have you know, uh, criminal infiltration in the supply chain and it reduces trust and confidence in your business yeah. and also from a government uh, level we lose trust and confidence within the Australian yeah. community. Pam, what are some of the key things that these industry operators can keep an eye on to help you guys out in, in terms of noticing suspicious behaviour? Yeah, any any uh, any suspicious behaviour amongst you know some of their employees or or anything they see um, uh, in relation to uh, the cross-border movement of a piece of cargo or, or goods, that might look not quite right. That's always yeah. important. Yeah. And what part does technology play on that? Um, from a government perspective, technology plays uh, a very big role. We try very hard to take a risk, a, a, an intelligence-led, risk-based approach to the border to not impede the flow of trade. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you, Pam, for clarifying thank all of that. You. Such a pleasure to meet you in person here Such this a good morning. opportunity. Thank and you. And best of luck with it all. You guys are doing great. And as you say, collaboration is much oh. needed and you're here at the right place. No, right? We're, we're all trying. We're all trying, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.